depending on each marina. Uh, the teams are very different in each marina. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I think that, I mean, in the end, I always say you, you, you spend more time at work, especially yeah. in the summer, yeah. than at home with your family. Yeah. So it's really important that you get the sort of the, the right kind of people together. Yeah. And that's not easy. Welcome to a new episode of the Soup Yard Engagement Channel. And today I'm in Porta Adriano together with Isabel Teruel, who is the operations manager for the Osubar Group. And that's beyond Porta Adriano, right? Because we're now in one of your marinas, correct? Yes, that's right. Uh, Osubar manages three marinas at the moment, uh, Porta Adriano, Botafoc, Ibiza, obviously in Ibiza, and uh, Porta Raco in Tarragona. Fantastic. So um, just like, I think everybody knows Porta Diano, and for the people that don't know Porta Diano, just like this is a special design, isn't it? Yes, uh, this marina was enlarged and uh, it was designed by Philip Stark. Yeah. So uh, that was done to make it something special because uh, we thought that it was a great opportunity. Uh, because here in Mallorca it's difficult to get uh, new ports, it's impossible, and to get an enlargement was very difficult at the time. Now it's impossible again. So we, we felt that we had to do something really special as we had that opportunity. And because we could have done it without a special design, yeah. but we thought that uh, we, we really had to do something special, which is what we, we tried to do. Uh, are you happy with the results? Yes, yes, very happy. And I think uh, all of the people who visit us are, are very happy too. And uh, they, they see the difference in, in, a marine, in the design in the marina. Good. So what I would like to talk to you about today is not necessarily <laughs> the marine operations are not necessarily how fantastic this place looks, but like to look into what do you do as a group of marinas and especially looking at the three different marinas to make Supiat crew or crew in general feel welcome. And how does that, do you believe, add to your reputation as a, as a marina? I think that that's the topic that I would like to discuss today. And let's see if I can uh, persuade you to share a few of your of the secrets mm -hmm. of uh, Osiba Group and, uh, and uh, Taraco and, and uh, Porta Diano, because those are the two bigger ones. Right, well, I think it's not much of a big secret, really, because uh, we, we center on two things, on clients feeling at home. Yeah. Uh, we think that it's very happy for clients to, to feel uh, part of the port. Yeah. And, uh, and also, obviously, we center on our team. We have a great team and um, many clients uh, tell us so. So uh, it's not only me saying that. Yeah. We, we have loads of emails from feedback from clients saying you're a really great team uh, in many ports in the Mediterranean. Uh, we, we haven't found a team like yours. And I think that the team, obviously, we have a great port, great facilities, a great design. But without our team, that would be impossible. And it's a very stable team. Many of us have been here for many years now. Mm -hmm. Most of the new people who start also continue for many years because they feel they feel like uh, we're we're a little family. We're a, we're a bigger family now that the yeah. port's bigger. But it's it's like a family really, and uh, everybody knows each other. And um, and obviously we make clients feel at home, and and and, and the crew, which are also our clients, uh, although it's like a, a different part yeah. of the of the of the people in the port. But so we like them to feel at home too. So I think that's basic uh, making people feel like they're part of the port. Okay, like I want to circle back to that team because you basically, obviously that's the part you're most proud of, otherwise you wouldn't start mentioning them. <laughs> and um, I think like, uh, because we speak to a lot of like uh, superior captains and head of departments and what they find important when they're selecting their crew. And, but it's interesting to hear like, what do you look for? If you were looking for expansion of your team of, you say, a family, you almost call them. Like, what is important? What what are the what are the key elements that you would feel that they need to add to that feeling of welcoming your guests? Right. Well, obviously, apart from um, depending on the department a bit, uh, if they're in the office, we don't really require them having worked in a port before. Yeah. It's good if they've worked in a hotel reception. It's very similar in the end. And obviously, they have to speak at least English. Yeah. If they speak German as well, all the better or any other yeah. languages. Uh, but especially, I think it's like a feeling you get 
when when you interview somebody um, it's very difficult it's a short time that you have to yeah. somebody you haven't uh, met before but uh, it's very much we base it very much on our instinct okay. so uh, usually what we do is the head of a department does a first selection and a first interview and then with the people that uh, that, that person decides that should be interviewed again mm -hmm. then I'm involved in that and it's more like a feeling of of, uh, of of, of that interview uh, it's difficult it's really difficult to say yeah. but we must have a good feeling because it's been quite good most of the times yeah. Yeah. So, yeah well yeah you must have a good good feeling and then basically because some people will say like oh, well, we do assessments and testing you basically you guys like it needs to feel right yeah that's right yeah yeah, yeah. And it's like and uh, and obviously most of the times that's successful unfortunately sometimes it isn't yes that's but right like, that's that, right that, that, that's life and but like and if you do you do you believe in, in, in dynamics and in dynamics of teams, dynamics of people working together? Do you believe that people of energy can bounce off each other and become better yes. at what they do? Yes, obviously, obviously. Um, I mean, if, if you if you're new and you get into a, a good team, yeah. uh, if you're the right person, if we've chosen the right person, um, I mean, it all flows really, really easily, really, really quickly. Yeah. And they get really they really get involved and they also uh, come back to you after a certain period of time. I usually speak to them and they yeah. come back to you and they say, I feel really like I'm already part of the team and I've already be I've only been here for a short period of time. And I think that that's what's important. And uh, the, the few times that that hasn't happened, that gimmick yeah. that hasn't happened, then uh, it hasn't worked. I think that's basic. Yeah. So in, it's amazing, right? Like you can you can build every facility, mm -hmm. you can every logistic can be there. Technically, it can be perfect. But if you don't have the right people with you, it just doesn't work, right? Yeah, it's it's like, and if you look at like, um, because I can imagine you, you you're, you're managing three marinas, eh? mm -hmm. Ibiza, uh, um, Tarragona, and uh, Mallorca. There must be cultural differences or identity differences between those marinas as well, and therefore potentially within the kind of people that you would hire for that team. Yes, certainly, certainly. Depending on each marina, uh, the teams are very different in each marina. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I think that, I mean, in the end, I always say you, you, you spend more time at work, especially yeah. in the summer, yeah. than at home with your family. Yeah. So it's really important that you get the sort of the, the right kind of people together. Yeah. And that's not easy. That's not easy. No? no. Is, that like, is, it, is that like one of the bigger struggles if, if to do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really, when we have to look for somebody new, it's like, oh, you know. Yeah. Well. So you, 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 you constantly hope that people are not like, yeah. that people are not leaving. Yes, right? and, yeah. And, yeah, I, I read a real nice study from, from Gallup. I'm, I'm a big Gallup adept. I believe they're doing great things. And they say like, it's so, it's nice to hire people and then to onboard them into your team and then you develop them and you look after them and you nurture them. But the fear is like, that you don't, that you do something, that you don't grasp it totally and that they leave for the wrong reasons, right? People can leave because they don't like it anymore, they had a better opportunity, but sometimes people will leave for the wrong reasons. Do you, do you guys have some kind of program in place that helps people develop themselves to make sure that they feel at home and stay for that long period of time? That you yeah. Like yourself. Yeah. Well, first of all, every year we do uh, like um, a study where they have to answer some questions to find out if there's anything that they that they would like to change yeah. or whatever. Uh, then we try each department uh, talks to each of the of the people yeah. and asks what their feeling are, and we let them know our feelings. And then I sit down with the head of each department, and um, and I think that that's very important. The feedback. Yeah. Uh, that they and that they know the doors always open. That if if there's anything that they need, if there's anything that they would like to point out, if there there's anything that they're not comfortable with or happy with, they know that they can come and say so, and and uh, we'll be there for them. And I think that's important. Yeah. So I think I just found two little secrets. Mm -hmm. I think like yeah. The one is that you measure yeah. because I think yeah. you actually measure. Yeah. And the second is that you make sure that people have a space to to feedback and to, to give their opinion mm -hmm. and which obviously you do something with because otherwise they wouldn't give their, their, right. their feedback any, yeah. anymore. Yeah. And so let's let's go back to the arts because mm. because like in the end that that I think I always believe that the way that people treat the clients is part of the reputation and identity mm -hmm. of a destination. And and so what is there anything specifically that you do for the super yacht crew that feel like um, to make them feel at home because just like being blunt right but Tarragona and Portariana Mallorca they're not at the prime locations they're 
far away from either Barcelona or from Palma City. So mm -hmm. that's a challenge, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. It is a challenge. And at first we were quite worried about that. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, we even put some uh, shuttles, free shuttles for yeah. the crew to go to Palma and they didn't use them. Okay. So uh, we, we, we stopped that because it, was, it wasn't a service that they were looking for. They weren't yeah. looking to go to Palma regularly. Okay. And, uh, and it's just that we, we're always around. Uh, we have a person, our public relations, she's always around the dock asking people if there's anything they need, finding out. We have a space, we have a barbecues for them to use. Uh, yeah. they, they ask for that. Uh, we, we do an event, we didn't do it last year because of the, the mm. COVID, but we do a karting event every year okay. with a barbecue, which where we all get together and get to know each other. They like that a lot. And um, basically, if they've ever asked for anything special they'd like, we do that too. We have a gym that they can use. There's the crew bar uh, where they, they usually get together. So um, I don't know. In the end, I, they, they they feel that they're at home here, and um, and they don't seem to need any more. Because the crew is on the other side, yes. right? on, on the top floor. Yeah, eh? that's right. Do they right. use it a lot? They do. They do. They go to other bars as well. Yeah. They they don't just go to the crew bar. But uh, but one of the points that they that they center in most uh, is is perhaps the crew bar. Yeah. yeah. And if you would compare that to let's say another Supiat Marina or Taraco, which you obviously manage as well, is that like? What would be the difference? And is, is that the same thing that you do there, or is it like a different vibe it's, to it? It's very similar. We have, we also have a special bar there for for crews. Yeah. It's like an Irish pub that we have there, and uh, they do all sorts of things uh, to entertain the crew. And uh, well. Uh, Barcelona's not that far away if they want to go to, yeah. to Barcelona, but usually they just stay in the in the same area, yeah. and uh, and they they must also feel at home because um, and especially we started managing it now just under a half a year and a half ago, and uh, and we've noticed that they that they're really enjoying the change and uh, it's the same people we had there, but uh, having changed the like the the ownership, yeah. we've tried to to do things that we do here there as well and that seems to be working so okay. i need to go back with like i know those bars as you can imagine like i've been in the irish pop in yeah. Port yeah. i've been to the crew bar yeah. and they're, they're, they're great places and, mm. and uh, i think like uh, because what i find interesting is what would you, do you would you consider yourself a uh, uh, a destination port or a uh, home port well, we are both here. Well, in Tarragona, uh, we are a winter port. A winter port, okay. Yeah. Uh, here in Port Adriano, we have the two okay. kinds. Because during the winter, we have, we're a home port. Yeah. Uh, there are people who stay here for the whole of the winter. They get their boat ready, yeah. this, that and the other. And now, uh, in the summer, those people are usually away yeah. around other parts of the Mediterranean and new boats come uh, for the summer. Yeah. So we, we have both here. Yeah. So I would say in your crew engagement, your winter period is way more intense with them yes. than your summer period, yes, right? Yes, yes. And they have more time in the winter as well, because yeah, exactly. obviously in the summer they don't have much free time left. Yeah. And uh, basically we centre everything that we do for them in the winter. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was a really nice conversation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I, guys, I hope you're gonna you're enjoying this. I think what we did, we were going to talk about crew facilities and how to engage with crew, but I think we managed to get into a bit deeper conversation about people, about the value of people, the worth of people, and what people actually add to an experience. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you so much for letting me do this. Thank you very much. And. Uh, I think we should do a episode two at some point. Yeah. yeah. How great is this? Thank you. Well. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Hope to see you soon for a next episode on the Superior Engagement Channel. Bye for now.